All right, one of the projects that need welding is the bucket on the front of the tractor. You can see there's a crack right there. It goes all the way through uh, to the inside. I don't know if I can even get it in frame, freehanding it. But that's, uh, that's one. All right, here's number two. You see that crack? This is the front suspension of the uh, 86XJ. And that crack needs to be welded. So that's number two. Okay, under the 86XJ, we also have, man, I can't believe there's a rust out here. See there for a vehicle that spent its whole life in the desert. So maybe that's not true. Maybe sometime in its past it wasn't in the desert, but it's been out here for a lot of years. So anyway, it's cracked. The floor plan pan needs a big replacement, some work. So this is number number three welding job. Okay, here's um, number four. <clears throat> Dodge uh, D250, here's the lower hinge. It is actually pulled clear out of the door. I can't use this side anymore, but I wanted to open it one more time and show you guys in case you missed it in the last video. Anyway, so this is uh, weld repair number four uh, that's on the list. This was the highest priority. All right, in preparation for getting all this welding done, I put in uh, those new breakers right there. This big cable, I forget what it is, grade or uh, six gauge or eight gauge, and an outlet. So that one's 240 as well, but that's for my compressor right here, and that's for the welding. Um, I also made an extension cable for it. <clears throat> it's laying here somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's right here. So I made this, it turned out to be 19 feet. Um, there's the welder, the 200 titanium unlimited um, multi-process unit, a small bottle of uh, mix gas, and obviously a cart to hold all the stuff. So I've turned it on. The welder's been turned on, but I've never used it. So, um, where is my, hang on a sec. All right, here's some sheet metal. This is uh, a one foot by two foot piece of uh, 16 gauge and 18 gauge. I don't know which one's which. This looks like 18 and 16 here for whatever repairs are required, like the bottom of that XJ. Uh, it's going to need some of that, I think, and so is the door on the Dodge. So there's the materials. Uh, I got all kinds of rod, and um, as it turns out, this Titanium Unlimited doesn't come. Uh, the picture on the website shows it comes with two rolls of wire, which would fit here and here, but it doesn't come with it. So. I bought a roll of this Lincoln, it's supposed to be top-notch stuff, 025, good for uh, sheet metal work, which the Dodge door is going to be, um, definitely qualifies there. So there's the wire, and somewhere I have, there's some practice scraps to uh, practice stick welding on. And where's all my rod? <clears throat> anyway, it's been a while since I've been out here. Oh yeah, here we go. So there's the helmet. Here's a tungsten for TIG. There's a good flow regulator right there. And whatever else I need here. I'm, there's, a, there's a handful of uh, 70, what is it, 7018 stick rod, 7018, 7013, whatever it is. It's here somewhere. Anyway, it's been a while since I've been out here, so I thought I'd make a catch up video and you guys can kind of see where the next few projects are going. I mean, I could get them done in a day, I suppose, but probably, probably I won't. Um, that helmet, this is the second one. The first one, the battery contacts were so brown and badly oxidized that it wouldn't turn on. It would flicker and stuff. So I took it back and got this one. It was on sale from 100 down to 80 bucks. That's cool. This one seems to work okay. So we'll see how things go. Um, I bought this without a discount, and then a a couple three weeks later, uh, they had a sale on it, 100 bucks off plus tax. It made it a $110 refund. 
they gave me. So always keep your eyes out for coupons and things like that. So um, anyway, so I think that'll handle everything I'm doing here. It, ha it has rollers for 025 wire, which for sheet metal is super important. You don't want to go too big. Some real pros can do it with larger wire 030, I suppose, but I'm not a pro. I used to be a million years ago, literally 30, 35 years ago. So I'm kind of starting over. Anyway, so here's everything for those next welding projects. Um, turns out this is actually stainless, so I won't be practicing on that. But here, uh, the nut plate inside the door. Um, I think this is thick enough to make another nut plate, but it's much bigger, so it'll spread the load out better. So um, that or some piece of metal like it I've got to use to put behind the, um, behind the, um, the lower hinge. So anyway, um, but this is regular steel here and I can practice on that and stuff and get it kind of going. And uh, I already showed you the, 030, the 025. So I think that's it. I think we're good. Oh yeah, there's also a set of uh, Dorman, um, let me get you the part number. See that? This is door pins and bushings. Since we're going to be taking all this apart, might as well um, put new pins and bushings in. This came from Amazon. Uh, so I know another guy on YouTube that used this exact kit and it works for me. Uh, let's see, anything else? No, can't wait to get this thing rolling. I've just been too busy on the house. So it'll, uh, we'll get this out there and get it running here soon, I hope. Anyway, that's it for now. See you, bye. All right, everybody knows what a flap disc is. Here's a couple of them. Uh, let's see, one is 36 grit, one 60 grit. Now, the really the important thing I want to show is if you watch Fitzy's channel on YouTube, um, he talks about how to cut and butt, um, you know, splicing body metal together. And his discs are usually 060 thick. And I happened to find these, I don't remember, it was either Harbor Freight or at this Cal store next door in Kingman. And these are both. 040. Now this one is a four inch and that's a four and a half inch disc. I know I have both kinds of grinders so I got one for each. But the reason I wanted really small is maybe I can cut out the old metal with the door still bolted to the truck. I think that would be super handy. Um, that's why I got both these. They're 040 thick. They're, they're awfully thin. And I think that might be helpful. Um, I did buy Lincoln 030, and I think this has flux core. Yeah, this is flux core. So I have pretty much, I think, every tool I can imagine needing for these uh, sheet metal projects, especially for that stupid door. God, that needs to get fixed so bad. Um, okay, enough rambling. See you, bye. All right, I thought I'd make this video a little more complete. Here's the, uh, the flow gauge. Um, here's the part number off of Amazon. It was rated pretty highly by users. Um, my bottle's pretty small, so I want to make sure it's uh, as tightly regulated as possible so I don't waste it. So that was, I pulled that out of the box. And then I found a bunch of other stuff. So here's uh, dividers that the tool cart comes with, and here's the stuff from the welder, just extra whatever. There's different rollers and, you know, all kinds of parts. And I went over this really quick. This is also from uh, Amazon. It's two different sizes in here. Uh, 16th and 332nds. Um, tungsten rod. It wasn't too expensive. I don't remember how much it was. Oh yeah, here's the 7018. <clears throat> uh, came from an estate sale. There's two different diameters here, but they're both 7018. So that was kind of nice to find and put away. Um, you know, it's a drawer full of gloves and crap. The point of pulling this out is that I got a um, warranty on the welder, an extended warranty. Uh, two more years for like 180 bucks. It was really expensive. But with a $110 discount, um, I, it kind of made it worth it. It really did. So it's only got a 90-day warranty otherwise, and that's kind of, you know... 
they're the closest welding shop, if you will, that I have to me. It's only 84 miles round trip. But um, the warranty's nice. I can just swap them and get on the road, you know. So, that's why I got the extended service protection. I think that was a good move. Especially with a $110 discount. I got it before I got the discount, so I didn't know I was going to get it. Anyway, <clears throat> um, let's see. I think that's it. I think I covered things that I skipped over too fast. Just showing you what I got. I should have this all up and running. First thing I'm going to do is obviously practice. I got to make sure this piece of metal is the right thickness. It looks like it's the same thickness. Ah, shoot, that might not be okay. <clears throat> but I know it's bigger than the, the, the nut plate on the Dodge. So I'll have this to practice on. TIG, TIG Megan stick, and uh, some machining here, some holes and tapping. Not a big deal. Anyway, so there it is. That's what we got. Hopefully I'll get off my butt and get started here soon. So thank you for your patience. See you, bye.